Good afternoon, Nick Colin here with TechOut. And with less than 24 hours until we see the first beta of uh, iOS 26, as it's rumored to be called, I just want to go over some tips and tricks to make sure your device is ready for beta one so you guys can get it installed on day one uh, with no fuss. So first things first is obviously beta one is not going to be intended for the general public. It's not going to be intended for use on your you know day-to-day -day daily devices. Uh, this is for development devices or, you know, secondary devices if you guys want to mess around with it. Uh, but I don't recommend installing Beta 1 on any kind of daily driver just because there may be bugs and stuff like that that may prevent certain functions or apps from working. And there's really no way to find out about that until it actually happens. So even warned, don't install this on your daily driver. I've got this iPhone and I've got other devices as well that I can fall back to if anything happens. Um, you can also restore back to iOS 18 during the beta process, uh, but you want to make sure that you back up iOS 18 because if you don't have an iOS 18 backup, say you install iOS 26 and back it up and you're like, oh, I don't like it or it's not working and you go back to iOS 18, you're not going to be able to use the newer version backup in iOS 18. You can't go backwards like that. So make sure you keep your iOS 18 backup like on your computer or something like that um, to make sure it doesn't get overwritten. Uh, you will need to go to the developer.apple.com and just make sure you uh, agree to any agreements on there. Usually you have to do that to see the beta profiles option uh, or the beta updates option here in settings. You don't have to pay for a paid developer account anymore. Um, so you can just sign up for the free developer account. Once you have a free developer account tied to your Apple ID, um, you should see this beta updates section right here under software update. And then you'll just need to check the developer beta. Um, if you want to wait a little bit, um, you can wait for a few weeks and then you should see the public beta option pop up. Um, obviously, you won't see that option tomorrow or on day one because the public beta does take a few weeks to come out. Uh, so if you're worried about stability, wait for the public beta and you can choose that option up there when that is available. Um, like I said, you don't have to pay for a developer account. So if anybody's trying to sell you a beta profile or trying to sell you a beta signup, it's a scam because Apple does not charge for it anymore. You don't need a, you don't need a paid account um, to do that anymore. So make sure you have your backup and make sure you have uh, your developer.apple.com account tied to your Apple ID, just the free account, like I said. You might wanna go ahead and do that before the event because usually once the event starts or the day of the event, that website goes down for a little bit and sometimes it's a little bit hard to get back in to get signed up immediately after the event because everybody's trying to download the beta and everybody else is trying to do that. So get your stuff set up now if you wanna get the beta right when it releases. Um, and I'll be live streaming uh, the beta installation and I'll be doing a live watch party during WWDC. So you guys can come hang out and you can come see how the beta is running on my device before you uh, go ahead and decide to install it on yours. So I'm Colin with TechOut, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.